Uh, in this video, I will give an overview of while loops in LabVIEW. Uh, in LabVIEW, we have different loops and structures. We have the while loop, which I will uh, give an overview of in this video. We have for loops, we have case structures, and we have sequence structure. And the while loop and the case structure, those two together are probably the most used um, uh, loops and structures in uh, inside LabVIEW. Um, first, uh, simple overview of um, for loops and while loops in in ordinary text-based text-based uh, programming languages like uh, MATLAB, uh, C sharp, uh, C etc. Typically, a for loop is like this. Um, so it goes from uh, goes through a set of iteration in this case from 1 to 0 and then inside this for loop it do, do some uh, coding and then when uh, it has gone through this loop 10 times um, the for loop is finished and the code or the execution is uh, going outside the loop here same for while loops then you have typically a condition it could be above or below some value and while x is above this uh, value, it will go inside the loop. And so sooner or later, this condition is no longer true, and then we will go out of the loop, and the execution will uh, will uh, go outside the loop. But in uh, LabVIEW, we do this in a graphical way. So when you see this example, where you have the for in this case the while loop as this uh, square so everything that is inside this square is executed inside the while loop and then we have a condition here in this case and this uh, stop button becomes true and the condition occur and um, we will go outside the while loop um, typically the while loop uh, will be executed very fast, so typically we also need to include a wait in order not to use all the CPU on, on, on our computer. So here you see a very simple example of a while loop, which we will go through in uh, step by step in uh, LabVIEW. Um, first, I will just give a short overview. So in this example, we have a slider from 0 to 5 which you can take up and down. Then we have implemented uh, just a very simple formula uh, converting this, in this case, this voltage signal from 0 to 5 into an engineering unit, which is in this case from 0 to 20 centimeters. So then inside the uh, while loop, we just multiply, multiply the voltage value with 4 in order to get engineering unit in uh, centimeter in this case and then this happens as long as we, uh, the stop button is false but when we uh, click the stop button this becomes true and we get outside the while loop so let's go to lab and, uh, and and take this example step by step so I have started LabVIEW and then just select file, a new VI in this case, and then we have this front panel and then we have this uh, uh, block diagram. So we start in this case in with the front panel, and we create our slider. This is the slider that we can adjust between 0 and 5 in this case. And we can call it just uh, voltage. And then we have this um, water tank, this one. This one should go between 0 and 20, like this. So this is our user interface. In addition, we should have this uh, button in order to stop our program like this, the stop button, and then we can click Ctrl E in order to go to our block diagram in order to create the code for this application. 
So the first thing you need to do is just right click, select structures and then find the while loop. Just click once and then we can, everything that is, should be inside the uh, while loop, we just drag it like this. And then everything inside here ex will be executed uh, within this uh, while loop. You can also right click here to select visible items, label, while loop. You can also change this name to a more proper proper name. But in this case, you just need to make this simple formula, numeric, multiply. So the upper input here should go to this numeric control. And then you need to multiply with four, then you can just right click on the, this input, the lower input and create constant and type 4 like this and output here should go to the tank so this is our code for this application in addition we need to wire the stop button to this uh, um, loop condition so you just fire like this you can also set different uh, properties here if you right click on it you can select stop if true in this case so just right click on it uh, stop if if true in this case continue if true uh, etc but in this case or in most case stop if stop if true is what we usually uh, use in this case Then we also should have this um, timing. Let's just select wait. And then you can right click on input, create constant, and you can just select, for instance, 100 millisecond. And then now our program should be finished. Then you can click Control E in order to go to our front panel. You can start the application. We can slide this like this, and then you see um, this one will be automa automatically calculated while we change the voltage value. And you can do this until we stop this, uh, click this stop button. And now our program has stopped, and we cannot change this. We can change it, but it, nothing happened there because the program has stopped. So that's how we create a simple um, uh, application in LabVIEW where we use a while loop. And in most LabVIEW application, you will build your application like this with a while loop and your code inside the while loop. And then you will typically have a button or something in order to stop the program. Uh, regarding while loops, we have also this uh, small uh, loop iteration that we sometimes may want to use. And, uh, let's just um, create a numeric like this and then we can wire this numeric indicator to this loop iteration and see what's happening. Also this is an integer so we can change this one uh, just to, to an integer. So we just right click and change uh, the data type and then let's run this program you see every time the loop execute this uh, iteration increases by one even if you don't change this one uh, it still goes inside the while loop until we click this uh, stop button and then um, also this this one stops to increase so to so so sometimes we typically will use this um, um, loop iteration in our calculation so let's just for fun um, make some uh, multiply here and then we can multiply the output here with this um, iteration and then we can take this output like this so let's see what's happening now 
you see it starts on one and this one increases let's say uh, just change this to 200 or something uh, 2000 then you can also change this and also it also increased because the, this um, iteration increases and then you, the level tank uh, the tank will be increasing even if you don't change this one so that's how uh, while loops uh, works in uh, labio we can also put while loops outside the, uh, the while loop uh, like this so you can have this value here and put it on the border of the while loop click once then you can create a numeric indicator here just right click on it and create an indicator and you see so let's run the program now with this and let's see what's happening with this uh, numeric um, um, value we start it and you can change here let's change it back to 20 but nothing happens here until we click this uh, stop button and then the last value we have here will be put into this uh, box because the value will not go from inside the loop to the outside of the loop before this condition is uh, is met so when we stop this click this stop button and the execution will go outside the while loop and then show the value uh, from the last value in the tank in this case you can also change here on the loop tunnel right click on it and tunnel mode we can also select indexing and then you see we get a broken arrow here we can delete it and you can right click once more create an indicator and then you see we get an array like this so now if you run the program once more you see you can change this but nothing happens here until we click the stop button and then we see some value here you can also drag it and you see uh, then we build an array with all the values um, from the tank so every time a new value comes here it, it builds this array but it doesn't show the value on the front panel until we click the stop button so i guess this is uh, how while loops uh, works in labview there is one last thing there is handy to know about when uh, dealing with while loops this is when we click on the border on the left side right click then you can add something called a shift register and then these small arrows appears on both sides of the loop and this is handy to use in many cases so let's just assume we want to to add here the previous value from the loop iteration then you can just use this add so assuming you want to always save the previous value then you can just wire the output here to this um, shift register and then if you want to to add on the output here the, uh, the previous value on, on this tank you can just wire from the input uh, like this and then wire the output to the tank like this so in this case it saves in, in each iteration it saves the previous value and then we can take the previous value outside here and in this case we just add it uh, to the tank like this let's just run this program and see what's happening so in this case in addition to multiply with four it also add uh, the previous value based on these uh, shift registers.
So I guess that's all you need to know about uh, when it comes to while loops in uh, LabVIEW. If you want to learn more about LabVIEW, you can uh, click on this link in order to get access to more videos, uh, additional training resources like um, um, example code, etc. So just click on this link and you can find lots of uh, resources about LabVIEW in this, uh, this link. So that's all. So good luck with uh, LabVIEW and uh, using while loops inside uh, LabVIEW.